Now we're getting into the poopers. Bad, bad. College zoology, it's oh. not quite old enough, it's not quite new enough, so it's just sort of dead material. Great. That's when it's bad at the beginning and the end, but at least it's consistent. To give you an idea, if your book here had a dust jacket, it's probably $1,500 to $2,000, oh, depending on damn. the condition. You're killing me. There was very limited of these made. This is a copy, unfortunately. This is probably on the market worth about $100. What do you think we're looking at for these bows? Well, the way they sit right now, nobody's going to buy them with the strings broke. What about this boat? You know, they were a top of the line bow in their day, but the technology's come a long ways in 20 years. How much do you think that we might be able to get for these? Between two and 250. But the worst kind of appraisal at all is good bad. Wow, now this is an old school 1970s snake bite kit. This is a collector's item. All good, all good, and then just crash and burn. Boom. I would say that this thing would go, I think you're only get about $25 worth. I know, oh. it's cool, it's amazing. It needs to be cleaned up a little bit, but this is an incredible find because you don't see too many of these anymore. No, so. I bet you don't. Well, Jerry, why don't we blast through the hard candy shell and get right to the nougat? Okay. How much? Well, uh, you know, it is a rare find. Uh, it is missing a few parts. I, I give you 300 cash for it right now if you're interested. I thought it'd be worth a hell of a lot more than that. Of course, Barry can make a good bad appraisal into something great. Five minutes, run around this store and take whatever I want. That sounds like a deal to me. Let me start out by trying one of the pretzels, two of the caramelicities, three of the English toffees, 10 of the peanut butter, two of the low-fat non-sugar candy. Well, hey, thanks, Jerry. I may not have a lot of friends, but I got a lot of money. King of the world! <laughs>